Okay, uh, this video is all about the trigonometric graphs. Um, you saw them in GCSE, and you need to know them for your A-level. Um, they're going to form a huge basis of your A-level. You're going to end up drawing these hundreds of times over the next um, couple of years. They're really important. So you need to know what they look like, know what the key coordinates are. Um, when, you when you start studying your A-level, and you start doing some more work on trigonometry, um, you'll see why the graphs are the shape that they are. Um, and you'll need to look at something called the unit circle. So if you want to uh, read ahead, look ahead, at, look up the unit circle, then please do so. Anyway, let's do sine x first. So we know that sine starts at 0 and it goes up to 1 at 90 degrees. Something like that. If you wanted to, you could fill in these other numbers. We know that sine 30 is a half. And we know that sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Watch the previous video if you are not sure about where I got those numbers from. So we could fill in these ones as well. Um, carrying on, we know it goes from uh, up here, it goes down to 0 at 180, then down to one at, uh, sorry, minus 1 at 270, and then back up to 0 at 360. For the negative part of the graph, we just keep going with the pattern. So it looks something like that. That's a sine graph. Let's do cos. So we know cos starts at 1 and goes down to 0 at 90. Again, we could fill in these numbers here if we wanted to. We know cos 30 is root 3 over 2. We know cos 60 is a half. And then we know it goes down to minus 1 at 180, 0 at 270, and back up to 1 at 360. So it's, it's really, really important that you know the shapes of the graphs and these key coordinates. So if we said cos 90, you need to know it's 0. If we said so, uh, cos 270, you need to know it's 0. If we said sine 270, you need to know it's minus 1, and so on. You need to know these key values. Over here, it's going to look exactly the same, uh, or rather, it's going to uh, follow the same pattern, like so. Finally, the tan graph. The tan graph has asymptotes at 90, 270, minus 90, Minus 270. Again, when you're doing when uh, when you're studying the A level, you, you'll see why it has these asymptotes. Um, we, we know the graph will go up and get closer and closer to these asymptotes, but never actually touch it. So this is what your tan graph should look like. There we go. So those are the, uh, the three trigonometric graphs. Um, you need to know them, you need to be able to draw them, and you need to know the key values on them.